COVID-19 vaccination site at Cal State Los Angeles that was established in February in a partnership between the federal government and the state is set to close April 11. It's like a flashback to a bad fever dream. A year after COVID-19 ravaged New York City, infections there are creeping up again and in other hot spots across the country, despite the largest vaccination push the nation has ever undertaken. The average number of COVID-19 cases recorded over the previous seven days has risen 10% in the past week, and hospitalizations are ticking up as well. Rising numbers of new infections in New Jersey, New York and Michigan are worrisome. The Los Angeles Times editorial board determines the editorial positions of the organization. The editorial board opines on the important issues of the day, exhorting, explaining, deploring, mourning, applauding or championing, as the case may be. The board, which operates separately from the newsroom, proceeds on the presumption that serious, nonpartisan, intellectually honest engagement with the world is a requirement of good citizenship. You can read more about the board's mission and its members at the About the Times editorial board page. These signs of a coming fourth wave of COVID-19 prompted a rare moment of emotion Monday from one of the country's leading infectious disease fighters. Right now, I'm scared, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Rochelle Walensky said during a COVID-19 briefing, adding that she's having recurring feelings of impending doom. Walensky urged people to remain careful for just a few more weeks, pleading, please hold on a little while longer. We can see why she's so concerned. With the prospect of millions more COVID-19 vaccine deliveries rolling out in weeks to come, states have been shucking mask mandates and dropping restrictions as if the pandemic were over. On a recent Friday this month, more people traveled by airplane in the United States than on any day since the national emergency was declared. The spring break crowds got so out of hand in Miami Beach this month that city officials declared a state of emergency and curfew. Look, we are feeling optimistic too. The end seems close, as Walensky put it, we have so much to look forward to, so much promise and potential of where we are, and so much reason for hope. But short-sighted thinking could so easily force us backward in the critical race against